The requirement of schools during the industrial age was to give students a specialization, a skill to be able to perform a job. Manual labor is the focus. The transition to the information age brings about a need to understand information. Access to information and the ability to obtain knowledge becomes paramount. We have found ourselves on the cusp of abundant information. It's there if you seek it. The demands of schools must shift to a more creative purpose. Education must motivate students to find their element, their passion, teach them to harness it, and then give it back to the world. Adam, um, someone has suggested that uh, imagination can be enhanced by having this ability to stand in other shoes, to see with their eyes and to feel with their hearts. Can we do that using technology? I believe we could uh, through use of multimedia and uh, perhaps maybe some type of movie maker. Um, of course, Professor Louis was earlier talking about uh, sound files and, and creation of song. I think I could definitely create, ask my students to create a, a script based on a book that we've read of some sort and uh, ask them to create a, a movie or a song that would capture the emotion of that book. So, Anam, do you think technology can do everything, like motivate students and keep them excited and grab their attention and make, make the lesson fascinating just by having technology? Well, I think there's an initial fanaticism with technology, whereby if uh, technology is introduced to a classroom, maybe for the first few years, uh, students are really in awe of the technology. But I think after time, that excitement wanes and the technology just kind of becomes commonplace. It becomes a permanent fixture in the classroom. Or as you know, Postman would have said, it just kind of becomes part of, of everyday life. Okay, it has been suggested that uh, playing games is one of the ways to enhance imagination. How can you use uh, technology to do that? Well, there are a large variety of educational games uh, out there along with some simulations, of course, some good and some bad, but those provide students with a lot of opportunities uh, to be able to play around with technologies and, uh, of course, other parts of the curriculum as well, too. Seymour Papert's research with the Logo software provides that open-ended ability for students to be able to start from a point and end anywhere. So clearly there's play in pr computer programming as well. How would you describe education in one word, Adam, today? Mindless. What's the problem with education today? You want answers? I think I'm entitled to it. You want answers? I want the truth. You can have the truth. <laughs>